Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is Fist of Jesus, developed by Mutant Games, published by KISS LTD, and it is a, oh boy, it's a 2D side scroller that has all kinds of interesting mechanics. Um, as you start out here, in the very first one, it doesn't have, you know, a lot of mechanics, so you work your way through, right? And as we work our way through here. I only went up to 9, didn't want to go to 10, didn't want to go too far. Because I do plan on putting this on my channel, I'm thinking I'm going to make this a playthrough. I really get a kick out of this game. So, as you work your way through, right, if you get 3 stars, you earn a new special move. And as you're going, you'll get more and more special moves. And as you beat a level, you'll get to see that you then get to upgrade as you go. So, we'll go back to level 1. And we'll start there. We'll do a couple of levels real quick because it's not hard to do this first part. And I'll see what I can show you guys. All right. Jesus, since Lazarus has returned to the living, it's to the living is converting everyone into zombies. Okay. Damn, we must do something before I am told off. Judas, I need your help. Re told off. Me? How? Easy. If you haven't changed the controls... Space or A button to punch. Shift R or L button, left button, to change character, okay? You just, okay, now you can kill the sheep. You get food. You see there's a timer up there, so you do have to complete within the time. Come on, I need, what, one more? Come on. There we go. Nope, not quite. There we go. There we go. All right, level glorified. So, we passed. We got 161. And we move on to the next. And this is where you would upgrade your character. Now, There will be various prices, right? And you have to use your gold here. Oh, and I still don't quite got enough for the next one here, which is cool. Like I said, I don't want to get too far. Now, these are things that you find in-game that give you bonuses. And I don't know, I guess, I don't know. Maybe you get a cool portrait or something when you get to this far. So, there we go. And we're back to our main screen. And as you can see, when it comes to this game, it is huge. I mean, there is a lot of levels, a lot of button smashing, a lot of fun. So I thought this would be great for my channel. You know, quick, easy episodes, couple levels, show you guys how to play. Um, there's not cutscenes, and for once, I've got a damn game that's got 300 frames per second. Now, that's incredibly important when you're playing, especially a 2D side scroller. You don't want any latency. Latency will kill you. But, if you guys check down in the description, you'll be able to see that I put a link to the Indiegogo page where you can actually see where this movie comes from, or this game comes from. It's actually based off a 15-minute uh, short movie that's in Spanish, but it's got you can you know watch it with subtitles and whatever I think the Indiegogo page does, and you can get an idea of where all this comes from and why you get to use... So we'll jump ahead to three here. Um, all the various things. So, as you go through... Oh, i got to kill 12 zombies. Okay. And then, of course... Oh, wow, really? That's right. There you go, you're dead. Uh-oh, now i got a rock. It gives you plenty of time in the first things, but of course, as you go further and further, you'll fight bosses and all kinds of things as you go deeper. I'm trying to remember what level the one of the bosses was. And you can see up in the right corner, I have special abilities I can use. Oh, there we go. That was easy. So even if you're redoing the levels, it's still... It, if you do excellent, right? 
Here we go again. Hey, we got enough this time, though. We can make it healthier. All right. And, you know, you just keep basically working your way through here. Let's go to five. And you can um, buy any of those things that you saw there, but you're not going to want to do that because you then can, you know, you might not have enough like I am right now to upgrade your character, which is no fun. Oh, I wish I could remember. Oh, there's a special power. Taste my wrath. Now I gotta build it back up. Man, there's a lot of guys coming at me. Come on. Oh, oh you just get on back this turn. Come on now. Definitely not the button I thought it was. You see that little meter there? If you hit it just right, you can like rip a guy's heart out. It's pretty cool. I'm trying gonna try and do it. I just don't. Ooh, don't remember what the button was for it. There it is. Divine punishment. <laughs> so we ripped his. go right out of his body. So like I said, you know, this is just, this is fun. Beat him up, smash him. It's funny, like I said, you know, it's probably the first game I'm actually going to put on my channel that actually is movie based. I don't think I put any uh, anything that's on my channel that has anything to do with movies. You know, like Batman, Arkham, or any of that stuff. I have it in my library. I could play it if you guys want, but... Let's see, so here we go. We got 1200 bucks, so now we can get that throw stronger. And one of his special powers. Nope, we don't got quite enough. So let's see. Oh, so we got this thing. We can pay for that. And then I wonder, you know, once I think we unlock this, right? More likely than not, you get this as a bonus to your fighting, which you're going to probably need because as. The game is gated. It won't let you... So when you get to level 8, you have to have 25 stars, right? So if you do all of these and get 3 stars in all of these, you got 24. So you then at least have to get a few of these. You can see, i got to go back. i got to do that again. i got to do that again until I get better. So, you know, it's, it's a game that's not real expensive. And... Uh, As it stands right now, I mean, if you like 2D side scroll beat em ups, I'd say give it a shot. I find it funny. I mean, the way they put the mechanics in, I mean, it slowly introduces them to you. So as you play, you get better and better and better. Um, once you start playing, though, do keep in mind that um, the game doesn't have loading or, or any options like that. So once you come out, you come back in, you hit start, you, you go right where you left off, right? So, I mean, if I turn this off right now, I come back, I'm going to be right here. So I even went in and erased it from my Steam files. Everything, it must be because of, uh, maybe it's the server that they run on, I don't know. Anyways, but, like I said, I'm going to put a playthrough on my channel. We're going to start here. We're going to work our way the whole, probably the whole way through here. And then we're just going to keep going and going and going and going. Oh, crap. And going all the way down here. I have no idea what this Saved Souls is all about. Like I said, I've only played, you know, an hour, two hours. Yeah, yeah, a couple hours playing it. And then I went and I watched the movie and I got a kick out of it. So, if, like I said before, if you're into 2Z Scrawlers, you definitely want to check it out. Like I said, it's not an expensive game at all. And as always, i like to thank you folks for watching. I'm The Rev. And I'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first or the wife.